Today, I'm traveling over 400 miles to buy vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. First, I'm getting gas though, so uh, yeah, let's get some gas real quick. Let's head out. This is gonna be a pretty epic pickup, so keep an eye out for what we get. Let's go. Look at that road. This is so roady. The van list came out and we're like five hours away, so there's no way I'm making a video now. <laughs> no! Any other day. I've already been semi-spoiled by Rhyme Style. Thanks a lot. It's just such, such a terrible day for the band list to come out, but this is a big pickup, so I'm still excited to go. We're about halfway there. Hopefully when we get there, you know, we get the stuff. <sighs> I miss the band list. All right, we picked up the package. We confirmed everything. It looks pretty good. We're gonna take it back home and then we're gonna check it out in the studio. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite item in the collection of what I bought or whatever. So that's all you gotta do. First of all, we have a bunch of first edition magic ruler. This probably wasn't the best example. I mean, some of them, they're not completely perfect on some of them. Like some of the edges are just ripped off right there. And then this one's a little bent inside the pack, but a lot of magic ruler first edition. So here's another one. This one looks a little better. It does, it does have a corner here. The pack inside looks pretty nice. First edition. So these are retail because in the blisters, they're always retail. So you're going to get Serpent Knight Dragon out of these. Just still really, really awesome. Really, really cool. So we got a bunch of these. So here's one. That one's got a turned down corner as well. I mean, some are in better condition than others. This one's a little bent this way. So yeah, some of these are going to get open. Some of them are going to be for sale on Ruxin34.com. So if you're interested, the, the nicer ones will be for sale. The less nice ones will probably get open. Like this one, probably a good chance that I open that guy. You know, that with the, uh, you know, it's a little ripped off. It's definitely not as nice for display like ripped off there there's a good chance that i open this one save it for a special event or something maybe just a special video opening up some of these so uh that one looks uh, this one looks all right for the most part so magic ruler got relinquished on the back that's so cool i mean just look at this in the ancient egypt there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for a millennia now one boy has released the power it's time to duel just classic and then they even have the ratios on here common cards eight to one we got one out of one rare cards ten super rare cards one out of six and ten ultras one out of twelve doesn't tell you the secret because it's a Secret. Then we also got another set of blisters, which are the Metal Raiders first edition. This is what I was really excited about because honestly, we're going to open these. I mean, I don't care if they're nice or not. I'm opening these Beast Gold Dragon on the back. You guys know it's my favorite set, the Pecanio Moths inside. Of course, all those awesome ultra rares, Gate Guardian. We can't pull Gate Guardian out of these because it's retail. It's a thousand dragon, but I don't have thousand dragon PSA 10 either. So I would, I would like to have that one. At this point, I do have half of the ultra rares in PSA 10. So we're getting to the point where I'm like, maybe I should complete this set. So I'm pretty excited to open. Uh, there are not as many of these uh, as the Magic Ruler. There's only, I think, six. So these are all going to get opened at some point. So look forward to that in the future. We're going to be having Magic Ruler and Metal Raiders opening, which is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, these just, I mean, I just love these. They look so good. Everything about Metal Raiders is awesome. The pack looks awesome. The blister looks awesome. The box looks awesome. The cards inside are awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I just like the pose in this one. Like this one's cool and all, but it's just really swaggy. You know, he's like, he's like, let's go I'm about the duel, baby. All right. So we got that. And then we got two more right here. Metal Raiders first edition. So incredible, awesome old school blister. So the guy actually told me when I was there, he was like, oh, I'll let you guys look at one of these while I'm talking about it. But he was like, yeah, I used to work at a store and these like, as soon as it came out in like 2002, he said, People would buy these off the shelves so fast that he was like, wait a second, maybe I should buy some of these. Him and a friend of his both bought, you know, not even a lot, like I, mean, I guess 24 total blisters. And uh, what I'm about to show you guys last, he bought all that stuff because he noticed how often people were buying these and like they were going off the shelves so quick. His friend held them for like six months and then sold them. And he said that he hung on to them and just forgot about them. And then he found them just like a couple of weeks ago and was like, yo, I should probably sell these. So he sold them to me. And uh, let me just say what he paid for them versus what I paid for them. He did pretty good. Hold Holding those. So I thought that was pretty cool. We have one more item that's never been seen before on the channel, I think. So this is a pretty exciting item to show you guys. This is something really awesome. This is a starter deck Yugi and starter deck Kaiba case. So this is not first edition. This is unlimited. So inside there are 10 decks. There's five Yugi and five Kaiba. So we can check this out. Pretty awesome stuff there. We've got the original Konami logo from 
2002. They changed that in 2003. This thing's still sealed up with 10 decks inside. There's Kaiba. Yugi's on the other side. I mean, this is just a really, really cool item. You do not see this very often because usually they were opened and then the decks were opened. So you don't get to see this kind of item. This is really, really cool to pick up. Pretty excited to actually get, you know, to show you guys this on the channel. So honestly, I think we might want to finish this off with one blister opening. I don't know about you guys. I, I feel like we should. This is not the longest video ever, but we got to open at least one of these right now, right? I mean, we're not gonna, we're gonna open the Metal Raiders for sure, but we're gonna save those for later. We're gonna open one of the uglier Magic Ruler ones. I mean, it has the damage, both sides there. I mean, it's still honestly not in that bad of shape. Let's see if we can pull something insane out of our Magic Ruler pack. So here we go. All right, first edition Magic Ruler. Look at this stuff. I mean, old school, third set in Yu-Gi-Oh. We have opened a little bit of this recently. We've had some pretty good luck, so let's see if we can continue it. I would love another Serpent Night Dragon. I do have a PSA 10 already. Whew, let's see what we can get. All right, first edition cards. Old school. Let's do a little pack trick here. Let's do let's do three to be safe. I'm pretty sure it's four, but we'll do three. We've got the Turtle Oath, so can we get the, uh, the Turtle, the Crab Turtle? Can we get the Hungry Burger? A lot of cool cards to get in here. We have the twin long rods. His rods are long, let me tell you. We have the Chorus of Sanctuary. Man, these cards are classic. The Griggle himself, first edition. Magic Ruler, keep an eye out for anything unusual, just in case, you know, there's some sort of error or something. Final Destiny, look guys, discard five cards from your hand to destroy all cards of the field. All you gotta do is discard five cards, no big deal. Just your entire hand, no big deal. Penguin Knight, all right. Um, we have Eat Gaboon. We're getting close to potential rare slot. It might be the next card, wait, I think I think it's the next card. Let's see. Magic Ruler First Edition. Can we get a secret rare? Ooh, and then Justin Amoeba. Okay, First Edition Amoeba with a Flash Assailant. Should we open another one? Probably not. <laughs> Wait, is, is there one more beat up one in here? That's really beat up. Okay, one more for the video. Okay, one more. We drove all the way down there. We're going to open two packs, all right? So this one, big old crease right there. It's a little flopped on the on the pack. So yeah, this is the one we're opening. Let's see if we can pull a foil. If we don't pull anything, that's all right. We're gonna. This is going to be the two we open in this video. We have to end this kind of an epic, you know, pickup with opening some packs. We're taking a little bit of an L here, but that's how we do it on this channel. Let's go. First edition pack. Yeah, this one's definitely like not a gradable pack because I know people are grading packs these days days but that's definitely not a gradable pack so perfect perfect one to open let's see what we can get first edition magic ruler we just destroyed that pack anyway beautiful completely messed up let's just uh let's just pretend like that didn't happen and keep opening i'm struggling I, i'm a professional pack opener by the way just keep that in mind and uh while i'm while you're watching me not be able to open this pack there we go let's just pretend like that didn't happen you know why it did that because there's something amazing inside so i think it was for wait we're just gonna play it safe i don't want to mess it up horn of light the light of horn sonic bird the bird of sonic okay what am i talking about tyho number two all right hamburglar recipe are we gonna get the hamburger himself i would love that psychic kappa i love this guy an amphibian with a myriad of powers to shield it from enemy attacks it has a myriad of powers the griggle very nice yeah what does this guy even do again phase him on the field of control gain 300 life points what car on the face with control shifts to your opponent so if they for some reason change of heart your griggle which is now legal with after the last ban list you can get 3,000 life points i don't know why they would ever do that but uh maybe you'd give it to them final destiny is this the next card is it it Oh, and a cyber jar. That is a cool one. We got the eternal arrest with Darth Maul. Eternal arrest with Darth Maul on it. I can't speak. All right, we got the cyber jar. Pretty cool. Is it centered? Because one day we might want to grade something like this. Very nice. Oh, wait. Oh, corner. Like, you know, when it's not a hundred bucks per card, maybe we would grade it. All right. I don't know if it's PSA 10 worthy, but very nice cyber jar. Wait, let's just go ahead and put all these in the same sleeve while we're at it. Very, very cool. You love to see it. Okay. Oh, for two, but we'll be opening a couple more of these. Some will be for sale on ruxin34.com. So if you're interested, make sure you check out my website. And if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefoot Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Bambi Gecko, Dax J. Moose, Junior Barney, Anantha Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.